Hi, thanks for joining me today. This video is going to focus a little bit on self-care. This is a very important part of our yoga practice and something that a lot of times we have a tendency to neglect is our own self-care. We kind of put ourselves last when we are taking care of others. So this simple, short little practice is going to focus a little bit on some things just for you and how you feel and your self-care. So have some type of a blanket. You can have a folded up towel or anything like that for support. And if you have a yoga block, have a yoga block. You can also use a small um, stack of books or even a small stool. But starting, I'm in a kneeling position, sitting up on the knees. If this does not work for your knees, you can take that block or stack of books, separate the feet a little bit, and then sit up on the block to give yourself a little bit of height. You can sit in on a chair or stool to start, or sit cross-legged with your sit bones up onto your blanket or cushion, which is typically how we start our seated practices in most of my videos. So first and foremost, self-care be comfortable whatever position you choose to sit in and then let your hands rest on the thighs with the palms up or down what again find comfort nothing that you have to think too hard about but just finding somewhere to land and then very gently let the eyes close and then just take a few moments to maybe ask yourself a few questions. You know, how do you feel today? Is there anything that feels tense or tight in your body? How is your energy level? How are your thoughts? How are your emotions? And just maybe let those answers guide you as you move through this practice with me today. So again, I'm your guide, but important for you to do what feels appropriate for your body. So just take a few moments to notice your breath and breathing beginning to consciously inhale and exhale through the nose. Letting the breath begin to deepen, drawing the breath all the way down into the bottom of the lungs and then lengthening the exhale as you release the breath. And then very gently let the eyes open. So keep that steady rhythm and flow with your breath as you move through this practice with me today. And again, self-care, do what feels appropriate for your body. So as you take your next inhale, float the arms all the way up and overhead. As you exhale, cross your arms in front, round the spine, give yourself a nice good hug. Reads for opposite shoulders, let the chin drop down towards the chest. And then inhale the arms all the way up and overhead, lift the heart and the sternum, come into a cactus pose with the arms. So really feel that opening through the front of the body. And then exhale again, round forward again, give yourself a nice hug, maybe cross the opposite arm on top this time as you round and stretch through the spine. And then inhale again, come all the way up, cactus arms, lift the heart and the sternum. If it feels okay, take your gaze up. We'll do that a couple more times. Exhale, give yourself a nice big hug as you round forward. Think seated cat pose here. And then inhale, come all the way up, lift the heart and the sternum, draw those elbows and shoulders back thinking, seated cow. So let's do one more time. E, um, each direction. Exhale again, rounding forward. And then inhale all the way back up. This time release the hands again down by your side. Notice how you might feel a little bit more open through the front of the body now. And then inhale the arms all the way up and overhead. Exhale, twist to your right. Let your left hand come in front, your right hand come behind you. So if you're seated up a little higher, like on a block, just kind of reach the fingertips back. Maybe they're on the edge of the block. Maybe 
um, right up against the sit bone. If you're a little closer to the ground in your seated position, they may contact the mat, but just find a comfortable position. Just make sure that you don't lean to get your hand down to the mat. If it doesn't come down, just reach through the fingertips, keep that arm extended with the fingertips off the mat. My arm doesn't reach, so I'm gonna reach it back and lengthen through the crown of the head. Inhale and exhale. And then as you take your next inhale, again, the spine lengthens, untwist, float the arms all the way up and overhead, and then take your twist to the left. So right hand comes in front, left fingertips reach behind you. Again, if they don't make contact with the floor, that's fine. If you have that block, maybe fingertips just lightly touch the block. Just keep that left shoulder drawing back and make sure you're breathing. Inhaling and exhaling. And then inhale, lengthening up through the crown of the head, untwist, float the arms all the way up, bring the palms to touch, exhale, bring the hands to the heart, bowing the head towards the hands. Maybe take a moment here to set an intention, maybe how you want to focus on your self-care through your practice today. And then maybe taking that off the mat, keeping that self-care theme going throughout your day. Inhaling and exhaling, and then very gently let the eyes open. So let's come to all fours. So if you're using your block, just move it out of the way for the moment. And let's go ahead and take that blanket or cushion. We'll give a little extra support for the knees today since we're working on self-care. So unfold your blanket or cushion so that it is, um, or excuse me, your blanket or towel so that it's not too, too thick. So we don't wanna be, feel unstable. And then let the knees come up onto the blanket or towel and the wrists under the shoulders come to your table pose. Exhale, round the spine to cat pose. Feel that nice stretch through the back of the body. Inhale, send the sit bones back, lengthen the front of the body, take the gaze forward and up into cow. So similar to what we were just doing, um, seated, exhale, rounding forward and inhale. Find that nice length and stretch, warming up through the spine. Once again, exhaling and inhale. So after this next exhale, we're gonna come back to neutral, back to table pose. We'll make a little adjustment, I'm a little too close to my tree here. So a little bit moving through some spinal twist here. Big toes come a little close to each other. Bring your knees a little wider, not all the way to the edge of the mat, but a little bit wider. Hands are shoulders distance apart. So take the right arm, float the right arm all the way up and overhead. Exhale, sweep the right arm under the left arm. Look under that left arm and then we'll keep moving. So inhale, the arm again floats all the way up and then exhale, we'll thread the needle, bring that right arm under the left. So do that a couple more times, inhale. And exhale, and again, just think fluid movement here. Just take care of your body, inhale and exhale and then this time inhaling the arm all the way up exhale release the right hand down to the mat exhale round the spine find a little cat pose and then send the sit bones back find a little cow pose here and then neutral position once again thread the needle to the le uh, left arm threading to the right so inhale the left arm up exhale thread the left arm under the right inhale all the way up and exhale, threading under. Good, a couple more times. Inhale, and exhale, and inhaling, and exhale. And then this time, float that arm all the way up, and then release the hand back down to the mat, and then fold back to a child pose here. Widen each child pose, hips towards the heels, walk the hands a little towards the outside edges of the mat, let the forehead release down. If it doesn't come comfortably down, you can let your forehead rest on that block or stack of books that you might have. Inhale and exhale, breathe into the back of the body. And then very gently pressing into the hands, come up to your table pose, bring the knees underneath the hips. And then we're gonna turn to face the long side of our mat up on our knees in a kneeling position. And again, you can use this folded up towel or blanket that you have for a little extra support. Bring your block to the outside of your right hip and then extend the left leg out to the side. So 
turn the toes so they face forward. You can start by even having the heel to the floor and the toes pointing up, and then think of rolling that whole leg forward so you're turning the hips to face the side of the mat. Bring the left hand to the thigh, float the right arm up, and then exhale, reach up and over to your left. A little gate pose here. Nice opening and stretch through the side of the body. So keep the sternum facing forward. So we wanna feel that stretch right up the side of the body. If we rotate and try to get closer to the leg, then we lose that stretch. So it doesn't matter how far you go, think of keeping that alignment with the collarbones and the sternum forward. Inhale and exhale, and no pressure on this leg, just a light touch. So we're not putting pressure on the left leg. And then inhale, come all the way up, float the left arm up, and then bring the right hand down to that block. Again, stool or chair works too. And then bring the left arm all the way up and overhead while reaching over to the right. So bringing that nice stretch and opening into the left side of the body now. Inhale and exhale. You can rotate the gaze up towards the ceiling if that feels good for your head and neck. If not, you can keep your gaze forward or even look down towards the right hand. If that's not working for your left shoulder, you can bring the hand to rest across the lower back. Again, think self-care, what feels good. Inhale and exhale. And then inhale, come all the way up. Float the right arm up to meet the left. Bring the left leg in, bring the hands to the hips and then bring the hands right to the lower back. Fingertips um, point down towards the tailbone. Draw the shoulder blades together. Lift the heart and the sternum a little bit. Get a little tiny baby camel pose here. A little front extension. Open up through the back of the body. And really think of kind of pressing the heels of the hands into the lower back and down. So we're creating length in the lower back. And then come back to center. And we're going to take that little sequence to the other side. So bring your block over to the left extend your right leg to the right. And again, you can start up on the heel. Let me adjust my blanket just a little bit here. You can start, again, up on the heel to think of that alignment. So that leg is extended straight out to the side. It's not forward, it's not back, it's directly to the side. And then we're rolling that whole leg forward, hips forward, right hand to the thigh, left arm floats up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, reach up and over to your right. So really feel that opening and stretch through the left side of the body. And as you breathe, really feel that opening through the ribs, that space between the lowest rib and the top of the hip. Feel that length. Inhale and exhale. Again, maybe change the position of the head and neck if that feels okay for your body. And then coming back to center, bring that right arm all the way up. And then bring the left hand down, adjust the block so that you have this vertical alignment for the wrist to the shoulder. It can be out a little further, but make sure it's not too close in. And then right arm comes all the way up and then reaches up along the ear, reaching to the left. And again, you can bring the hand across the lower back if that feels better for your shoulder. Inhale. And exhale. Notice if one side feels different than the other. And then as you breathe again, this time, bring the gaze back to center. If you'd adjusted that position, inhale, come all the way up, float that left arm up to meet the right, and then both hands to the hips, bring that right leg in. Same thing, that little camel pose. So hands support the lower back. So think of the hips pressing forward, the shoulders drawing back, the sternum lifting, tailbone lengthening down. Inhale and exhale and then come back to center. And just for a little transition, sit back to, onto the heels just for a breath. If that doesn't work, just come to neutral. And then from here, we'll come to table pose. Wrist under shoulders, knees under hips, and then hands in front of the shoulders. Curl the toes under, lift the knees, send your sit bones up and back. Come to a bent knee downward facing dog. Feel that nice length and stretch in the spine. If you'd like, you can paddle through the feet a little bit here. Inhale and exhale. And then very gently release the knees down to the mat. 
uncurl the toes, fold back to a child pose, this time just with the legs parallel, those thighs parallel with each other. They can be close together or they can have like a, a fist distance between them. And then pressing into the hands, take your gaze forward. We're gonna come onto our belly and come into a sphinx pose. So land your elbows, extend the legs back, feet hip distance apart. So we're, our hips are on our blanket or cushion. And again, you can do all of this without the blanket or cushion. It's just an option to give yourself a little bit more comfort. But if you don't have a blanket or cushion, not a problem. So elbow right under the shoulder. Press into the palms, press into the tops of the feet. Think of drawing the shoulder blades towards the spine. Lengthen through the crown of the head. So last little front extension here. Inhale and exhale. Now press into the palms. Let the elbows come out to the side, forehead to the mat. This time bring the hands beside the chest, drawing them a little bit lower than the chest. Hug those elbows in. Inhale, lift up baby cobra. Exhale, lower down. Now press into the hands, come up to your table pose. Once again, fold back to child pose. Inhale and exhale. And then pressing into the hands, just come up to um, seated on your knees for a moment. We're going to take this blanket or cushion. And again, if you don't have one, you don't, that's fine. You don't need to use one. But I'm going to fold mine a little differently. So I'm going to make it just a little bit thicker. We're gonna do crocodile pose, crocodile breathing. And when I have this on the mat, I want it to hit, the top edge to hit just below my chest, so on the ribs. So I'm gonna come down. Oops, let's move out of the way of my Christmas tree. That's the hazard of the holidays here. So I have that right at the edge of my ribs and I'm going to take one hand on um, top of the other let the forehead release down elbows are out to the side I'm going to bring my big toes towards each other and let my heels fall apart and from here we're just going to work on our breathing and again if you don't have a cushion or a blanket to use under the torso that is fine you do not need it but again just for a little bit more self-care if you have one so just begin to notice your breathing and really think of breathing into the back of the body. So breathing into the lower back, the back of the ribs right up in between the shoulders. Exhaling shoulders, ribs, the lower back. So this is a, it can be a very calming practice pranayama practice, breath practice. So just continue to focus on your breath here for a few more rounds, a few more cycles. And just see if you can just let the body get heavier and heavier, surrendering to gravity. And maybe noticing how your breath starts to get longer. Longer inhales, longer exhales. So if you'd like, you can hit pause on this video and stay here for as long as you would like, maybe five minutes or so or longer if you have it. If you need to finish up your practice today, it's very gently straighten out the legs, so reaching the toes back towards the back of the mat, bring energy into the legs, bring the hands beside the chest, hug those elbows in, press yourself up to table pose, 
pause here, neutral position for the spine. So even though we were just lying on our belly, we were in a tiny bit of a front extension there. And then as you're ready, sink back into a child pose. Again, breath or two here. And then as you're ready, very gently come up to a comfortable seated position. Again, you can sit cross-legged, you can sit on the knees, you can sit in a chair, again, whatever's comfortable, but keep maybe the eyes closed for just a few more moments. And again, maybe ask those same questions, you know, how does your body feel now? How's your energy level? How are your thoughts? How are your emotions? And what does your body need now? Bring your hands to your heart, lifting the sternum to meet the thumbs. Exhale, bow the head towards the heart. Take a breath. Very gently with the eyes open. So thank you for joining me today. I hope this will encourage you to do a little bit more of self-care for yourself. This is a practice that you can repeat. You know, it was fairly basic, simple. If you have more time, you may you get to the part where we're getting ready to lie down on our belly for crocodile breathing and start again, you know, do that same sequence again if you have a little bit more time. But again, just a, even one time for any type of self-care practice for yourself is beneficial. So I do hope that you are having a wonderful day. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and please check out Gray Horse Yoga at grayhorseyoga.com for other offerings that I have. Thanks. Hope to see you sometime soon in the saddle or on the mat.